Hey YouTube, I can't do this um, request for a viewer. She wanted me to do um, yellow and purple. And um, I, in this video, I use Makeup Forever number 92. Uh, NYX yellow and yellow funk. Lemonade by Benefit. Rice paper to highlight right here. And um, chrome yellow, right here. And also going bananas by Mac, just a yellow, a light yellow. And um, I got on lashes today, and they in Kiss number two. And for my lips, I have um, Pervet, which is a purple glaze. And on top of that, I have on Fierce and Fabulous, which is a luster glass, a lip glass by MAC. And uh, that's it, just the look. I hope you like it. And I uh, hope the video is not too long. So, uh, also I have a review coming up on Pixie Woo brushes which is called Real Techniques. And they very inexpensive. I think I pay uh, $17.99 plus tax a piece for each one. And um, this, this is them right here. These four came in a set. And these five came in a set. And they are great brushes. Great, great, great. I love them. So, uh, yeah. I'll review on that coming up. Now on to the video. Okay, first I'm finna prime my eye. This is Noah's eyeshadow primer. You can use any primer that you have. Then I'm finna use this lemonade. Like I said, I was, I mean, I bought this about two years ago, and I still got it. And I barely even, you can barely even tell that I've been using it. But this is the base that I would say you could use the NYX white, but still I prefer this right here. It was like 20 bucks, I think, with tax and all. So when using a yellow or you know a color like that. It makes it pop good. Um, that's probably why your color wasn't coming out good because you didn't have like a good enough base under it. Or I don't know if you tried NYX or not, but like I said, I would advise you to go get this. Like I said, what number? Maybe 20 bucks with tax and all. And I'm just going to pat it in because I don't want to rub it because I want to keep that color kind of vibrant. And then I'm going to take um, this crown brush and just blend just the very edges of it. Then I'm going to take another blending brush and go in texture. And apply that to my crease. And also kind of diffuse the line from the lemonade. Okay, then I'm going to take this little Detail brush by Real Technique. They made by um, Pixie Wool Sam on here, and I watch them a lot. And I love their brushes. I got a review for that coming up. And I'm going in matte, going bananas. And um, it's just a uh, yellow eyeshadow. 
a very light yellow, and I'm gonna apply that to my tear duct area. And then I'm going to go on this NYX yellow, and it's called Yellow Funk. And I'm using a, a low Cornell um, shader brush, and I'm just applying it to the inner tear duct area, following the going bananas. So I know you see you want the yellow in the inner corner. This what I'm applying next. Then I'm going to top that with chrome yellow. Another real technique brush, and this one is called a uh, base shadow brush. And I really like these brushes, y'all. And they inexpensive, and they are good. Like they good, they good brushes. And I'm, I'm finna go and um, make up forever number 92, and apply it to the rest of my lid. Also, I'm gonna drag it up into my crease and higher as I go in. And you can use this brush as a blending brush as well. So it should look something like that. And then I'm just going to take it. And then I'm going to take a blending brush back. This is a Smashbox blending brush. And I'm just going to start blending it that I applied in my crease. And to the rest of my eye area. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and blend in the yellow with a yellow and purple meat. I'm gonna take a little bit more chrome yellow on my brush, tap off the excess, and just start bringing it into that purple. Slow, bit by bit, not just swipe, just a little bit at a time. Now I'm gonna get some more chrome yellow. And just keep doing the same routine until you get it blended to your satisfaction. So that's blended to my satisfaction. And then I'm going to go back and take this real technique brush and go back and go on bananas and pull it up into the chrome yellow so that everything blends seems then you you said purple and yellow but i'm a this is how it looks and then i you throw a lot little purple on your lash line lower lash line to meet your inner tear duct area color but because i have on um, these colors and black in it you know, I'm going to throw a little black in it. So, I'm going to take this brush from Crown Brush and go in any black that you have. 
I'm going to use this black and this true blood palette since it's the one I have on hand right now. Right here. And I'm going to use that as a crease color. An outer V to deepen up my outer V. I'm going to tap out the excess. And I'm just going to do one eye for the sake of time. And apply that to my outer V area. And drag it all the way in. And up. You don't want to drag it too far in. But you want to drag it in enough. And I'm going to take a blending brush and blend that out. I'm going to take a little of that black on the tip of my brush and use it to blend some more. Like that until it looks something like that. Then I'm just going to take that brush that has the purple on it and apply that on top in the crease, directly in the crease. Because I don't know if you can see it, but I like how that black and purple is looking. So, but anyway, I'm going to take this detail brush back from um, Real Technique. And go in purple in this number 92 and apply that to my lower lash line. And I'm gonna pull it all the way in to where they're going banana stock off it. Leaving the color to get lighter as I pull it in and not darker. Then I'm going to go back in that black and apply that just to the outer part. Right in the lash line. Like that. And that's it for the look. I'm going to do the other eye. And I'm going to zoom out and do the blush real quick. For blush, I'm going to use a uh, vintage gray. And I'm sorry the video so long. I could speed it up and fast forward it, but I prefer to like show y'all not be, you know, you know what I'm saying, going fast. I prefer to like show you step by step. But anyway, I'm gonna take the lighter color and rub my brush in it and apply that to my cheeks. I'm going to the darker part and use it as a contour. And then merge the two together. Then I'm going to apply these kiss lashes in number two. And I'm going to apply Pervet lipstick, which is a glaze, and it's just a light purple. And on top of that, I'm going to use uh, Fierce and Fabulous Lip Glaze by MAC. And um, I'll be back. 